Hello everyone and welcome back to another Final Fantasy video. Today we're going to increase your interface and make it look pretty or just help you on how you actually change your interface. Like how do you do cross settings? How do you like move your action bars so they perfectly fit what you want? Like everything you need to know about changing your interface. I made a video previously but I didn't really catch all the nice future people came in and gave me comments about how you can do it even better. And now I got all those comments so let's make one which actually shows like everything. So for, before you actually go in and change your interface, it's very high, uh, recommended that you go in. So first, you have to go into here, you can see you have uh, key bindings. Then you go to system, and it's very important. You can see here, move cursor up, um, cursor down, left, right. If you change them to just using like your, your keyboard, like you, you know your arrow keys, as I have done here, then you will be able to move each of the interfaces by clicking up and down, up and down. You know with your with your keys instead of having to drag around. Because when dragging around, it can be very you know, yeah, not perfect. If you're like me, which, which want everything to be like perfect aligned, then I highly recommend changing your settings so they will look like this. Another thing is go into uh, escape again, go into character configurations, go to share a uh, hot bar hotbar settings sharing and pick which of the which of the hotbars you have need to be shared between your characters so basically i have set my to hotbar 4 that means my hotbar 4 i have here in the right corner is exactly the same on all my characters that means well <laughs> not characters more spec jobs you know every time i change jobs from warrior to uh, you know whatever dark knight gonna anything then it's gonna these spells are gonna stay in this hotbar everything else is gonna change but this is gonna stay here so i highly recommend go in check this out maybe you could do like me where you have like a shared one here now with like return and stuff like that mount and then risk can be for the specific job crossbar hotbar is bound here is for if you're playing with a controller just so you know so that is the first thing you have to do before we actually change your interface. For changing interface, you have to go into escape again and then HUD layout. I'm going to start from a fresh one so you can see this is basically what it looks like when you just install the game as a new player. I'm going to minimize the chat a bit so we don't have to look at that. The first thing you want to do is probably like change up a bit on the interface here. For example, if I go back to my main, I have squished everything together. So you can see like the hot bar down here is more squished. Instead of having a lot of things like floating around everywhere, I have like take, taken them all down at the bottom so they're more focused. So what I would do is I would first get my experience bar all the way down. A very cool trick someone told me like a few hours ago on my old video is that you can actually like, you can even like move it around like this. But it will not be structured at all as you can see it's it's following you can see it's very much it's easy to like mess them up and put them places where you don't think it's perfect he actually gave me the tip you can hold on shift and then it just moves blah boxes you get boxes you can see there's like these boxes this grid if you hold on shift it's actually moving in those boxes only that's actually quite smart so you can like align items very easy to each other so like see here aligning 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 it's it's pretty cool like really cool and of course we have the problem with this which uses uh two and a half boxes because now you won't be able to like put it across but then you could use the key binding i showed you how to use so i can click on my arrow up key and there you go now it's fully you know attached but that's a cool very cool trick so for example i could do take like my hot bar down here and i could hold down shift and there we go it is now totally in the middle so we can see like here we have the middle one there and it's one like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen boxes to the right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen huh fifteen sixteen so it just needs to go one to the left there we go we can also see now it fits into this dark you can say that's like a it's like darker you have like one two three four boxes and then it's a light like dark you can see like it like has boxes with four inside and so on so now i know this one is exactly in the middle then we can do the same with my um, parameter oh i don't want actually parameter bar do i what did i have under my normal oh i'm gonna save this uh yeah i want that in the top so the next thing is my i want my hot bar so i could do the same whole shift down put it down here and I know the one below is totally in the middle, 
So I have to put this one at exactly the same. There we go. And this should now be exactly in the middle also, which is pretty cool. Uh, so HUG layout again. And we can see even we can see the white line here is even inside like it's literally in the middle i believe we can see it's like two boxes over here and two boxes over here yeah that should be good should be good like why is it like uh, oh okay the experience bar is actually a bit bigger than the boxes that's annoying that's a mistake on the developer side i, I assume so we're going to put that one down here. So it's exactly two boxes out there and two boxes out there and in the middle here. Then we're going to take hotbar two and again, hold down shift. And to the person who commented this, thank you so much. Again, hold down shift, put it down here. And I actually use, use my hotbar three, which you can see is there, but it's, it's currently disabled. As you can see, it's blue. So I would have to click on the setting here and then say enable, save. So I put it down here, hold on shift, there we go. Progress bar, we're gonna wait with that. Then I want my parameter, I want my parameter, which is like the HP. We're gonna like put it here. And I'm gonna count. If you just gonna count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that one is exactly in the middle. Then I'm gonna put my cross progress bar above it. That's like your cast bar. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's probably what we've got to get. But you can see it, it's put, it's taking a bit of the additional space because it is just bigger than the boxes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my key bindings, which I set, put it above or to the left side. So now they both are like going a bit outside of each of the boxes. Hotbar 4, also disable, going in, enable that one. Hold on shift, put it somewhere nice here. There we go. Um, pet hotbar. Mm, why should we put that? Why should we put that? I could theoretically put it under my parameter bar, but I don't really want that. So I'm, I think I'm going to change it so it's um, probably going to be like this maybe. could change it so it looks like this and then change, put it over here on top of the other bar. That would be annoying. Well, let's put it down here. I, I don't really play one class with a pit so it, it's up to you where you want to place it. Then we have like all the things in the right corner. We're going to put them down here. Hold again. Thanks to the guy again. Hold down shift. Move it like over there. Move Jill over there. Inventory grid here, notices, my minimap, server info. I actually think I'm gonna want server info down here, like why not? Putting minimap all the way up to the right corner. I mean, I think actually it would be pretty cool to put it down here and then have the quest list here. How would it look like if we did like with the main quest two here? There we go. I think that's everything we need to think of right now. Oh wait, well, yeah, I, I need this class specific thing. Uh, so I'm always putting that down here above. Yeah, like this. There we go. So with these settings, okay, that looks ugly. Hold on, let's change that. So we want to quest down here. We want the main quest down here. I'm gonna use my arrows to like align everything into the right again using the key bindings I set, which I showed you. Putting all the way down here, all the way down here, all the way down here, all the way down here. There we go. There we go. There we go. And all the way in here. That actually looks decent. 
because now all my interface is at the bottom, which means I have everything in the top of the screen free. So I can just enjoy the game looking around without having any interface interfering with it. This is a way you could do. Um, I mean, you could also do like what I have done in my default interface. So this is like my main interface where I have like typical quest here, map up here, my main quest up here and like everything else down here. This, this is also what you could do. So now we have like two different setups. We have like where you get like a free nice interface up here or you can do this classic MMORPG. <clears throat> so before we end this, I'm going to show you one last cool thing which I saw from a, I can't even remember, was some kind of YouTuber. Um, if you go into HUD layout <clears throat> and then take your hotbar, let's take hotbar hot bar 5. Yeah. Then change it. So go into the settings on it, enable it and change it so it becomes bigger, for example, uh, and change it so it uses, I don't know, it's up to you, like 6.62 rows. What you can do then is you can then assign spells to it, like important spells, like my cooldown, for example, not for like, not because you want to use them on the hotbar, but more like I actually want to change it. So it's going to be um, like this long list like that. Very importantly, this is going to look super bad on your screen because it's going to have all these empty boxes. What you can do is go, you go to character, character settings, go to hotbar, display, and hide unassigned slots. There you go. Then you can see all the unassigned slots. Then you go back into HUD layout, change it so it looks like it's going to be like placed somewhere. I mean, we could change the size a bit. It's a bit, it's a bit ugly. 140. There we go. Change it so it goes like um, like this, I guess. Because now, why this is cool is go in here, take all my cooldowns. There we go. So we have like Sentinel. We could like put in Rampart. We can put in like Hallowed Ground, Divine Veil. Passages of arms, stuff like that. So like, do like this, and then change it just a bit up. There we go. Because now you can always keep track on your cooldown. So for example, if I use like um, Sentinel, then use it here. Instead of I have to see when it's ready again, I have to always look down here. But now while in combat, I can always see in the left side when my actions are actually ready. You could also change the key binding, so the key binding is actually affecting these. That's up to you if you want to have. You could also remove them from down here, so you don't have the spells double. But I like to like keep them down here, and then then I can like watch it here. You could also use it for DPS, so like if you want to like have a you no know, every time when your DPS spells up, like a running. For example, if you have like Circle of Scorn, uh, if you want to know when it's ready again, you could also change it to like that, stuff like that. It's it's really cool, and in this way you can like. And you can use even more. You could also use, um, for like, take like hot bar six, enable it, do the same, change it to 160. Wasn't it 160 on the other one also? 140, 140. Put it all here, same location as the other one. Yeah, even the same height. And then I could do the same like there. I could do like, like damage cooldowns. What damage cooldowns do I actually have? I can like put in Circle of Scorn. It's not because I have like a lot of damage cooldowns. Oh yeah, we have Fight for Flight. Spirit within. Request. Yeah, that must do it. So we could do the same here. There we go. And because my OCD, I really need to have like the same amount of spells on each side. So okay, I guess my OCD has to live with it. Yeah, yeah that's how it is. So now, I mean, I I know it's it can be annoying, and because it's now going into the middle of your screen, but still, it's super light because because I've moved it around with shift, that means it's always going to the same box. And also, every time now we use like cooldowns to make sure, 
we can always now keep track on when it's actually like ready which i think is a pretty neat future i think it's nice so now we can very easily look around and see oh yeah my, my cooldown is ready instead of you have to look down all the time and look for it because the normal rotation you probably have inside your head so you don't have to like look at your rotations all the time but still you could also do this another thing could be like uh, you have like your status effects effects so like when you get a buff you could put it like down here put it in the middle and now every time you get like a buff and something like that it will now be split displayed down here could also be something because then you really center all your things here so you can see as much just looking here you can focus on the bus in front of your screen and you can see all your status effects here could be a thing like yeah could be I think that is all the tips I have for this one. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. This is definitely the advanced guide for your interface in Final Fantasy XIV. Thanks for watching and have a great evening. Bye.